to me, my vestments are a throwback to the vestments of old that literally told the story of the faith and invited people in to that story and an ownership of the story as their own. So that's what I try to do with the vestments in, in a contemporary fashion is to create something that invites people in and helps them to be part of the sacred journey that we're all on. So it is my ministry. Every time I look at this, I see different things, and I remember different things, and I remember the, the lavender fields and, and up in Maine, and I remember the different parts of days fishing, and, and um, I can see flocks of cardinals in it, and, and chickadees, and all sorts of things that maybe other people won't see, but I hope they can. So what would your wish be for somebody getting to see this tomorrow for the first time? I hope they'll just be invited into the awe and wonder and that they'll realize that there's a lot to be seen if they just open their eyes and take the time to smell the roses. One of my favorite things to do is to go up um, on the balcony in MoMA and look down at the Monet and see what I'm seeing and it's different every time, it's just amazing. I grew up with my dad who Creation was his church, and he loved everything and created order. He could name every tree, every insect, every bird, you name it, he knew it. And he loved to share that. Um, so every time I hear the, the reading of Creation Story, This is Good, I really get that. Part of what I was trying to do was to make that alive in this set of vestments and invite people into seeing what it is that they see because so many people don't look at the beauty around them. The everyday wonders. They don't see different birds. They don't see flowers in the cracks in the sidewalk. So this is kind of inviting them to imagine what's in the clouds and just enjoy, find the good.